Lego has had a pretty good track record when it comes to making movies. Despite what most would expect to just be blatant advertisements begging you to empty your wallets and spend it on some sweet, sweet Lego bricks, they've managed to pull off some absolutely fantastic films. Most notably, the more recent Lego movie, Lego Batman movie, Lego Ninjago movie, and hopefully the Lego movie too. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, and also a bunch of Bionicle movies that are literal masterpieces. Tequila! But none of those would be here today if not for the greatest LEGO movie of all time. The Adventures of Clutch Powers. Ah oh, yeah! This was a film released in 2010 and was made by the same people as the final Bionicle movie. We fight together! Yeah, that one. It was direct-to-video and was advertised as being the very first LEGO movie ever on DVD. Oh. I see, how, I see how it is then. You don't want to see, the movie was made to advertise some of LEGO's best lines, which were brand new at the time. LEGO Power Miners, Kingdom, City, and of course, LEGO Space Police. RIP. Gone too soon. And in case you're wondering if it's not subtle enough in its advertising, the DVD opens with six separate ads for LEGO products. Yay! I'm sure a lot of you watching this video either own this DVD or have at least seen the film once when you were a kid, but for those who don't, you're in for one hell of a ride. So the movie opens with our boy, Clutch Frickin' Powers, investigating a mine in search of power crystals, obviously representing the Power Miners line. We're introduced to Clutch as an explorer, one who is so cool that he's straight up wearing the Lego logo on his jacket. Very subtle there, guys. But Clutch is suddenly attacked by a rock monster, which is only $49.99, who proceeds to destroy the shit out of everything. All except for a mech. That's right, Pacific Rim did rip this movie off. What other LEGO movie opens with a goddamn mech versus monster battle if not for the greatest LEGO movie of all time? I mean, sure, those movies might have Chris Pratt in them, but do they have clutch frickin' powers? I didn't think so. Sadly, despite the power mech only costing $29.99 at your local toy store, the monster manages to destroy it, leaving Clutch with no choice but to build his way out. Much like the master builders in the other LEGO movies, everyone in this film just has the ability to build incredibly fast, which is actually super creepy now that I think about it. Like, do they all just have superpowers? What is this? Turns out the crystal Clutch was stealing was a baby. Ah, a baby? Oh no. This changes everything. All in a day's work for Clutch Powers. We then get a montage of Clutch driving through Lego City and everyone freaks out at the mere sight of him. Can't say I blame them. Mm. Clutch reaches a roadblock and is instructed by the law to stop. But he don't give a fuck, he's fucking Clutch Powers, bitch! Clutch goes back to his spy headquarters, I guess, where he is suddenly introduced to his new team. Brick Masterson. <laughs> yeah, get it? Cause his brick, Peg Mooring, G'day. and Bernie Von Beam. Oh. The <sighs> comic relief. Hello. This dude introduces us to the plot of the movie. The three most dangerous criminals in the entire galaxy being held on a prison planet have all escaped. You had one job, and it's up to the Clutch crew, name pending, to find out what's going on. So the team gears up. Clutch powers is so amazing that even the scientist at the spy place is in love with him and wants to get into his crutch. Powers. We get a wonderful scene that goes on for way too long. That's basically a representation of what any of us would be like if we ever got to meet Clutch. <gasps> clutch powers? The Clutch powers? Ah! So the crew suits up and heads to space, sneakily showing off the brand new Space Police line. One thing this movie does very well is blend all of these LEGO themes and lines into one cohesive world. The LEGO movie explained it by having each theme as a different dimension, but this movie kind of just mashes them all together. And strangely, it actually kind of works, which is why I don't see an issue with the advertising. Though it does raise some interesting questions about some... Lines? Hmm. Oh, and speaking of raising some interesting questions, his hand detaches and falls off, which makes me question the logic of LEGO people and if they can even get hurt or die. Are, are they immortal? Uh, are they bound to LEGO City for the rest of eternity? Arriving on the planet, the four investigate the prison. I remember this scene really scaring me as a kid because the whole movie just suddenly turned into the freaking Silent Hill. It's empty. The coast is clear. The coast is not clear, oh no! The gang is then attacked by the three escaped criminals, only one of which we actually get to see in this movie. More on that later. Come on, they're getting away! They won't get far. I disabled our cruisers when they broke out. So there's absolutely no way they can escape from this planet. Would this be the right time to say we're sorry? 
Clutch laughs as he knows he is responsible for the destruction of the entire universe. With their spaceship stolen and the others destroyed, Clutch and the others are left stranded. Haha, <laughs> yeah, no, just kidding. He's Clutch powers. So they try and build a spaceship. The other loses, somehow managed to stuff up more than me whenever I try building anything from Ikea. Oh. So Clutch has to single-handedly build a spaceship. Because he's Clutch. Clutch goddamn pal! As the heroes leave the planet due to the heroics of Clutch, they report back to- what Oh god, not this guy again. We learn of one of the prisoners, Omega, the apparent leader of the three, who we never get to see! Instead, they go off to Malok, this evil wizard dude who apparently rules over a planet that seems strangely familiar to Lego Castle, which was another new theme at the time. Hmm. On this planet is a prince who is the descendant of a king, who just so happens to be Malok's greatest enemy. And with that, the team has their mission. And in five seconds of arriving, they already destroy a historical artifact. Oh boy. This is honestly where the movie slows down a bit. After such an exciting first half with rock monsters and space battles, a medieval world was kind of a letdown, especially because we have to spend the rest of the movie with this annoying piece of shit. We are, however, introduced to the two best characters in cinematic history, Bones and Skelly. I am not happy. Did you find the prince? The best. Ever. Unpleasant. Mean, I'd have to say. Mean? Would you go that far? Yeah, when he did the thing with the thing. I love them so much. Meanwhile, the team is still arguing like dipshits. <laughs> Let go! There you have it, folks. The best joke in the movie. You can all go home now. So Clutch goes off in search of the prince and runs into a troll who bores him. While Skelly and Bones continue to be the best thing Lego has ever done. You lost the castle. You lost the castle. No backs. No fair. So then the troll takes Clutch to the castle. And many uncomfortable fetishes were created that day. Thankfully though, he finds the castle. The rest of the team are building shit, but they're not clutch power, so who even cares? Oh, except the girl finds a dragon. But then she gets burned to death, so... Clutch meets up with a prince and immediately shows him how to use a sword, because what can't Clutch do? But sadly, now that he knows he will never reach the peak of human potential that Clutch has surpassed, the prince runs off in shame. As Clutch prepares to go to war with Malok, the prince and his army joins him. Which is honestly entirely unnecessary because Clutch is like 99% of their battle strength. But hey, it makes for a cool sequence. They have an army and a Hulk. Rip Malok, lol. I look like a girl, but a very pretty girl. And many uncomfortable fetishes were created that day. As Clutch and the Prince prepare to do battle with Malok, the wizard exploits one of Clutch's only weaknesses, emotional attachment. As a vicious battle commences, taking the lives of many from both sides, Skelly and Bones watch the bloodbath unfold. And also accidentally kill their uncle. Hey, isn't that Uncle Morty? Hey, Morty! And then they make puns about it. Morty, get your head in the game. That's gonna cost him an arm and a leg. I love these guys so much. Oh my god. The two are then imprisoned. And it looks like all hope is lost. But come on, guys. It's Clutch fucking power. So using the dismembered body parts of corpses, Clutch manages to write the message, Oh my god, are you serious? In what could be his final moments, Clutch still manages to advertise the company that created him. Absolute legend. Don't you see what he's trying to tell us? Uh-uh. We build on each other. And also, we should purchase the new LEGO Kingdom set out now at your local toy stores for only $24.99. So using the power of friendship and corporate marketing, as well as a dragon, the team manages to break Clutch and the Prince free. Freak also breaks into the castle and murders Skelly and Bones. Wait, no! Oh, I'm not half the man I used to be. Sorry, how is this only a 7 out of 10 on IMDb? What what black magic is this? Malok? Malok, did, did you do this? So in one epic last stand, the prince prepares to take down Malok. My kingdom! Okay, never mind. C Clutch will do it. Give me the sword or you'll never see your father again. He's alive? Son, wait! He actually turned me into a crystal ball! No! And with that, the day is saved. Malak is defeated, and Clutch's dad is still dead. Oops. With that, Clutch and the others go off in search of other villains, setting up the sequel. Oh, wait, that's right! So remember how I said we never got to see the other two criminals? They were clearly setting up a trilogy with so many plot points in this movie going unfinished. And yet we never got a sequel! I have carried this grudge for nine years. Do they stop Omega? Well, I guess we're never gonna know, are we? I want Clutch Powers too. Make your voices heard. Everyone, we want to know who the other criminals are. Give us Clutch Powers 2, the clutching. And if we want to push our luck, then we'll even get to see Clutch Powers Infinity War. Anyway, the Adventures of Clutch Powers is enough humor to make you
make you laugh. Enough heart and lovable characters to keep you entertained and Clutch powers. What, what more could you want? Overall, fantastic movie. Thought the sex scene between Clutch and the troll went on for a bit too long, but aside from that, it's a 10 out of 10, would watch again. But Clutch's story isn't over yet. That's right. As it turns out, there is a sequel. Sorta. Clutch powers for the adventure, only playing at Legoland. Unfortunately, the only footage of this movie I can find online was filmed with an actual potato, so if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go book my flight to Legoland, California. Okay, after countless hours of research, I have come to the conclusion that it was the Brickster all along, ladies and gentlemen. It was the goddamn Brickster! Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to drop a like and make sure you leave a comment confessing your undying love to Clutch Powers. I also have a Twitter for those who don't know, which you should definitely follow if you don't already. And I also have a second channel where I play games and be an idiot. <laughs> 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 thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Diamond Bolt out.